Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 22nd video in VCP7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to create and configure alarms in vCenter server 7. So basically uh, the first thing we which we need to understand what is alarm. So alarm is basically going to triggered by the vCenter servers on some some uh, some specific uh, configuration which you have configured in vCenter server like you have configured uh, created one alarm so whenever the virtual machine CPU utilization goes around nine uh, ninety percent for the for the constant five minutes it's going to trigger the alarm like like it's going to give the email email alert or like like maybe it's going to mark as a as a um, critical event in inside the vCenter server itself so it's going to depend on what type of uh, um, alarms you can create and configure and depending on the basically on your requirements so so basically you can create eight type of alarms on the basis of object type so object type is a basically uh, what uh, alarm is uh, associated with what kind of object like you can create a, and um, configure uh, alarms from the host, clusters, data centers, data stores, distributed switches, distributed port groups, um, data store uh, clusters and vCenter servers. So these eight type of uh, basically uh, mostly uh, these eight type of the alarms you can create and then uh, ninth one is the virtual machine itself. So you can basically create nine type of uh, uh, alarms related to object type so so we are going to review what uh, what is the pre pre created alarms in a vcenter server so mostly um, everything is already created in your alarms uh, alarms definition in the vcenter server by default from the vmware it's come come by default created and configured so in case you want to create any specific alarm yes you can add it you can create those alarm definition and also you can edit the uh, existing uh, alarm definition as per your requirement like if you have a any high, highly critical virtual machine you want them to uh, just like uh, if if it go, uh, goes 90% CPU utilization for one minute it's going to trigger the uh, email notification on your email so you can configure those things also on your um, alarm so so this is one thing so now let's go and see what we have in demo environment so I got one active active servers for my infrastructure so this is my active active server win 2 k 12 dc01 which is running active directory and dns role and we got three sxi host sxi01 02 and 03 so everything is running inside my vmware workstation so sxi01 02 and 03 and uh, this is my vcenter server which is vmware vcenter server appliance 7 so here you can see so this is my vcenter appliance v server vcenter server appliance 7 and this is my windows uh, windows 10 console machine which i'm using to access uh, my vcenter uh, infrastructure on the chrome browser so basically this is my vcenter server which is running version 7 and if i go to configure and alarm definition you can see everything like most of everything is created here so you can see there are 275 items already created based on the objects like everything like we have a vcenter server uh, we have the virtual machine we have for the host everything is pre uh, pre created so if if you want to add definitely you can go ahead and add like like you can call it like um, high high CPU utilization and you can set it for the like uh, virtual machine and then you can uh, go with the all virtual machines and this vcenter server and you can call it like for app uh, for win 2k win 2k16 vms or something you can call it and when you click next it's going to be set for uh, 
ask for the uh, like details what you want to configure like like CPU CPU users you can configure it for CPU user and if it's above like above uh, 90 percent for for like uh, one minute then it's uh, going to be a case log as a critical and it's going to send the email also uh, so you can type the settings like email to where, where it's need to send the email notification and also you can do some advanced configuration also like migrate VMs, power on VM, power of VM so you can s configure everything related from here so this is something how you can create like like let's let's do it like whenever it's going to do this it's going to like uh, you can suggest uh, uh, reset the VM you can set and then you click on next and just click on next and then you can see here whenever if the VM uses is 90% for one minute then trigger the alarm as a critical and reset VM so these type of uh, basically you can say the definition you can create and apply as per your requirement like where you want to apply you can uh, always create those type of um, alarm definition and you can apply and also you can see the like a pre-created alarm so uh, before it was 275 so I had just created one alarm so it's now 276 and like uh, you can you can always edit the existing one so I'm going to edit the host memory status so if I click on edit select that and click on edit so you can see it's assigned to host that's why it's a uh, for the host memory status and you cannot rename these uh, text uh, ta uh, basically alarm definition because it's a pre-created and when you click next you can see when the status of the uh, each hardware health sensor group and it's going to be if its uh, memory is equal to red and it's going to remove and triggered is a uh, critical alert and it's uh, going to send the SNMP traps and if I click next you can see the memory uh, if the status of each memory hardware sensor group and and the memory is equal to green then remove so it's going to some kind of like um, notification related to the uh, related to the basically host memory users and you can see lots of tags for uh, uh, lots of um, basically alarm definition for the cluster you can see still we are running in cluster so total total we have 14 pays so uh, 3 pays are for basically 3 or 4 pays of a cluster we're still on 5 pays so it's for the cluster so now you can see we went for the like data store users on disk you can see you can see data store uh, capability alarms so these all alarms are also there so you can see here thin provisioning volume capacity alarms we have uh, we have a host host like host error host required encryption host hardware fan failure so everything is there host have uh, hardware power status you can see like if I edit this you can see if I click next power is, uh, is equal to red then it's going to so as a critical like means the server is not available and if it's going to be uh, green then it's going to remove and reset the alarm to the normal so so when the virtual uh, like host is going to be lost power off and vCenter is not be able to communicate it's going to mark as a red and once the uh, power is available and machine is on host is on it's going to remove the reset the virtual uh, uh, host status to green so you can see still uh, license error we have everything mostly everything uh, what you can think about setting the alarms like we now we are running for the vCenters you can see for the vCenter server itself we have everything like uh, vCenters uh, server health alarm we have so uh, mostly you can see everything and lastly we have for virtual machines also like uh, virtual machine CPU users you can see high CPU which we have just created you can see this alarm which we have created basically and we got a migration error so everything is 
pre-written already so if I go here on the host and go to configure and basically go to monitor and you can see here all the triggered al alarms so if you have any triggered alarm you can see those alarms here so let's go in our vCenter server and monitor any alarm trigger so we we don't have any triggered alarm basically so if we will have any uh, triggered alarm you, you can see here and you can acknowledge those uh, alarms you can reset them to green so those things can be monitored from here so so basically alarm can uh, can be used for the for the um, configure your environment um, you can say the environment uh, monitor your environment based on the uh, events which is going to be happen in vCenter server and if you want to be notified by the by the email then you should come here and in the journal you should configure like email server and uh, email sender so if I go here you can see this is our email configuration which you need to apply so whenever you have any notification on your vCenter server you can enable the alarm definition to notify through uh, by using the emails also so this is all about the email um, uh, uh, like uh, alarm definition so I recommend you to go ahead and check out the all the alarms which is uh, available in the vCenter server uh, by default so explore those and uh, check out those options so uh, might be you need to uh, like um, uh, tweak some settings as per your requirement in your organization but definitely those alarms are going to be very helpful and I, I recommend to go ahead and take the some advantage of uh, doing automations from the alarms like uh, like you can see the virtual machine uses so what you can do you can uh, if if you see this uh, what this is going to do 70 percent a CPU 70 percent for five it's going to show warning and if the CPU utilization 90 percent for five minutes going to be critical and if I go here you can see now the warning and critical state no longer than its uh, reset so I recommend you to go ahead and add the advanced action here and you can set the uh, reset the virtual machine or the like sh shut down the guest machine so whenever this type of event is going to happen the uh, the vCenter server automatically it's going to um, uh, take the control of this uh, alarm and it's going to reset your virtual machine in case of the high CPU utilization and always you are going to notify by the email notification which if you have configured the email um, email thing in your vCenter server so so this is all about configuring uh, how to create and configure alarms in vCenter server so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me in my given mail IDs. thank you once again bye bye